Okay, so I wanted to take a minute and talk to you guys about your resume. And this is something that I'm going to go through pretty quick here, but I hope I've got something that not only helps you, but really makes you uh, think about your resume and check it over to make sure that you have these things taken care of. Um, number one, this is a big deal and it comes up over and over um, in the interviews that I'm doing in our interview section. A uh, premier members interview section has interviews with people we talk about resumes. Spelling an organization comes up um, over and over and people I've talked to on the phone that I don't have interviews up with but they're saying the same thing. If you're not taking your spelling seriously and the organization of your um, resume, it puts you uh, in a negative light a lot of times. So. Be sure that not only you use spell check to look at your resume, but send it to a few friends that you feel like are competent and they can look over it for you and help you out to make sure it's structured in a way that is presentable to people. And don't send it to people who are terrible at spelling. Um, if you have friends that are great people, but they're just as bad as you are, if you're bad at spelling, they're just as bad as you are, don't send it to them to check, send it to, you know how to do this. I shouldn't have to say that, but there's some of you, you would do that. You would send it to someone just as bad as you. Get that taken care of. Another thing, clear intent. Um, make your intention clear. Big deal. There's a lot of different types of inspection. Do you want to be uh, inspecting downhole casing? If so, say so. Do you want to inspect a uh, pipe being milled at the foundry? If you do, say so. Uh, are you someone that can do that and follow it to the coating mill? If so, say so. Are you a pipeline inspector? Great, what kind? Um, are you a welding inspector? Great, say so. Uh, you're a coating inspector, put that down. You're a utility. Make your intention clear. I would not put over three things. One thing is great, two things is great, three is a little much, but you might get by with that. But you guys who are sending resumes out, and I'm looking at these, okay? I get a lot of resumes that I look over. You send your resume and I don't even know what you are. You have a lot of experience. I don't know what job you want and I can only guess that you're hoping people will read through your resume, look at all your experience and see if there's a slot for you. Guys, that happens sometimes, but most of the time, if they can't see what you are, you go to the garbage can. I'm just telling you, in my experience, there may be people out there reading every word on every resume, but in my experience, often that's not how it works. So if you don't have your intentions clear, that works against you. Uh, another thing is clutter. Do not put a lot of things on your resume that have nothing to do with the job you want. It's great if you have a wonderful history of work that you're proud of, but that doesn't mean it's going to help you. You've got to be, you've got to be thinking about how you can help yourself here. Uh, you may be competent, qualified, and ready for a job, but if you put too much clutter, you're going to draw their mind to that part of your work history rather than the part, or, or you potentially could. You can draw their mind to that rather than the part that would get you the job. And at this point, I'm going to go off the rails a little bit with this, okay? Um, so ha hang on, you're, you're going to think I've lost my mind, and, and I probably have, but I'm going to share something with you. Have you ever been driving down the road, digging on the radio, and suddenly an old song comes on the radio that you haven't heard in forever, and boom, you're back in time. You might as well be 14, 15, 16, 17 years old. You're remembering a time when that you were uh, maybe out with your friends, or spending the night somewhere, or going to visit relatives. Whatever it is, that song took you back. You're walking along maybe in another day and a smell comes across the air of something cooking and it makes you think of uh, going to uh, your grandmother's or going to a friend's house and what his mom or her mom cooked or whatever. These things happen 
all the time. You hear a sound and suddenly you're remembering Christmas when you were eight years old. You guys all do it. I do it. It's called spreading activation and you can start thinking about something and the next thing you know, you've went from the song to remembering being uh, the summer when you were 17 years old, and then you've remembered going to a friend's house and you've thought about their parents, and then you remember your uncle used to work with their dad, and then you wondered did that place they worked at close down. That's the way our brains operate. Now let's go back on the rails. Your resume needs to take this in account. Take the clutter out. Do not send them on a mental journey into places that have nothing to do with the job you want. See, you're actually getting uh, better information here than most people ever get. If you can take this out, this will help you. I guarantee it. The other thing, make your intention very clear. If you can do that, that helps what's happening you're putting something in their thoughts, okay, this man, this woman is applying for this job and that's suddenly how you are categorized to that person. Uh, also that goes into the other two, make sure your spelling and organization is good because you don't want them to, you don't want to set something negative off in their mind. You want this to be as positive as possible because you're not sitting there with them, are you? Most times. Most of the time, you're emailing that resume. This is a big deal, guys. So I hope this helped you, and I'm not trying to get too far out with what I'm talking about, but if you'll just think about it, it will make sense. And I believe these are things, I believe these are all things that will help you a lot. Also, go to the interview section. There's interviews that are up, more that are coming up, and these people who do hiring talk to you about what they're looking for on a resume, among many other things. So anyway, I hope this helped you. Uh, I hope that you have great luck on your search for more and better jobs. Guys, there's plenty of work out there, plenty of work, and I'm hoping you find the very best. Thank you.